Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Rita, and today I'm going to read Genesis chapter 3. So please enjoy. And with Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Chapter 3 The man and woman turn away from God. God made many wild animals, but the snake was the most curing, clever, and evil of them all. The snake asked the woman, Did God really say, both of you must not eat from the tree in the garden? The, wom the woman replied, We can't eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But God said, You must not eat you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. You must not touch it. You will die if you touch that fruit. But the snake said to the woman, You will not die. God knows that when you eat the fruit from, a, from his tree, you will be like him. You will understand, and you will know good and evil. The woman looked at the fruit. She saw that it was good to eat, and she thought that it would be good good to her to know about good and evil. So she took some fruit and ate it. She gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. When they saw that they had no clothes, and they and they had felt they felt ashamed. So they joined they joined leaves from fig trees together to cover their bodies. In the evening, the man and woman heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden. They hid behind the trees. They hid because they did not want the Lord, Lord God to see them. The Lord God called out to the man. He asked, Where are you? The man replied, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid because I had no clothes, so I hid from you. The, lo the Lord God said, Who told you that you had no clothes? Have you eaten from the tree that I told you not to eat from? The man said, "The woman that you are, the woman you put here. She gave me some fruit from the tree, so I ate it." The Lord God asked the woman, "What have you done?" The woman replied, "The snake told me that I would not eat, I would not die if I ate the fruit, so I ate the fruit." The Lord God said to the snake, "Because you have done this, all of the livestock and wild animals, I will only curse you." I will tell you that you will you will move across the ground on your stomach and you will eat dust. You will do this for for the whole of your the whole of your life. I will make you and a, and the woman enemies. Your desist, your assistant and her assistant will always be enemies. He will hit your head and and, and it will hurt your his foot. The Lord the Lord God said to the woman, I will make it more painful for you while you are pregnant, and I will make it very painful for you when you give birth. So I will still want, I will still want to be with your husband, with you, your husband. He will rule over you, you, and and be like a master. The Lord God said to Adam, You listen, you listen to your wife. You ate the fruit from the tree after I said you must not eat from this tree. Because you did this, I will curse the ground. You will have to work for a long time before any food plants grow from it. It will make it will be like this for the whole of your life. Fists and horns will grow out of the ground. You will eat the plants that grow in fields, but you will ha but you will have to work for a long time before you have any food to eat. You will do this until you return to the ground. This is where you came from. I made you from the ground, and you will and you will return to ground. Adam gave the woman a name. He called her Eve. This was because she would be the mother of all people. The Lord God made clothes for Adam and Eve to wear. He made them from animal skins. The Lord God said, "The man has now become like one of us. He understands good and evil. He must not eat the fruit from the tree that leads him to live forever. If he does, he will live forever." And he will he will not die. So the Lord God sent Adam and Eve out of the gar garden of Eden. Adam had to work on the ground that he came from. They could now return to the garden. Then God put trimming and sword of fire at the east of the garden. The sword went from side to side, so no one could go near to the tree that leads leads the leads the leads him to live forever. And that is Genesis three that the man and woman had turned away from God. Amen.